Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can work with membranes in Chrome 3D. Membranes are a feature that are available in the latest version of Chrome 2.2 and to work with membranes we're basically working with shells. In this short example here I've just created a simple planar surface which has been converted into a mesh using the mesh BREPS component. Now, this mesh has been converted into a shell here. Normally, a shell has bending activated. Once we open the Options tab and set bending to false, as you see here, if we look at the output in a panel, we now see that this shell has been converted to a membrane. Once you set true, it is now converted into a standard shell. So we're going to switch it back to false. Here I've just assigned some material properties of my membrane and a cross section of one centimeter. My supports for this setup are just the four corners and these are now fixed in the X, Y and Z translational axis. To be able to analyze this membrane, we have to assign uh, initial strain or pretension to this membrane in order to be able to calculate it. And we're using a negative value to apply to the membrane itself. If we apply just a value like I've done here, it will apply the same initial strain on the X and the Y axis. If you wanted to control the y and the x axis directions, you can use a construct point to control the different elongation or shortening of each axis. So these are now plugged into the assemble model. And basically, when we're working with membranes, we're going to be then using the analyze in second order theory to be able to analyze the membrane. Currently, I have no load supplied and I have zero initial strain, so my basic uh, membrane is kinematic. Once I apply a negative initial axial strain, you start to see we get some deformations in our analyze second order theory component. And we still also get some results in our analyze and first order theory because at the moment all of our forces are in one singular plane. It gives us a warning message that this structure is currently kinematic, but it still calculates. Here we can have a look at the deformation of our membrane with this initial strain applied. And you can see once you turn on the loads, the initial strain which is applied to our entire mesh here. We look at the principal stresses in the shell view component, and we can see all of our values are positive. You might be confused because our values still show red to blue, but if you look at the numerical values, it actually this tells us that all of our values are above zero, meaning that all of our stresses are tension. And I'm just going to use this shell section component to also visualize the forces, the normal forces inside the shell at a specific point. Here I've just created a ISO curve, basically taking the initial planar surface and using a UV component to basically define the position of where we're interested in looking at our shell. And as you can see, you can we can scale down the results slightly and we can visualize the basic forces in our membrane. You can also switch the direction by switching the U to the V axis and it will give you basically the results in the other 
perpendicular axis of our membrane. Let's now turn this off and see what happens when we now apply some gravity to our setup. So now I have a gravity which is now applied with a certain multiplier. Let's set this back to minus one and I'll activate gravity now. Once gravity is activated, we still have both components of the analyze and analyze second order theory active. But now because we have uh, forces in the out of the initial plane of our membrane, we will see that basically we have a very, very high deformation because our structure is basically kinematic. In order to calculate the initial strain or the pretension of our membrane, we need the second order theory analysis. And you can see now we have the diff displacement of 8.5 centimeters. Once we turn on the uh, deformation scale, you can see how this membrane is deforming. And we can go in and increase or decrease the pretension force inside our membrane as such. So that's it, a quick session on how you can work with membranes in Chroma 3D. Thank you.